स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पी वाई क्यूज ऑफ कम्युनिटी मेडिसिन फ्रॉम नीट पी जी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज इन अ विलेज सेवरल फार्मर्स आर ऑब्जर्व टू हैव अ शफलिंग गेट एंड यूज अ स्टिक फॉर सपोर्ट टू स्टैंड एंड वॉक सो वैन वी विल टॉक अबाउट स्टिक एंड डिफिकल्टी इन वॉकिंग वी थॉट अबाउट टू डिजीज ओनली वन इज लेथरिज्म एंड द अनदर इज फ्लोराइड फ्लोरोसिस ओके so the in question further they are saying that due to poor farm yields their diet consists mainly of rice and the pulses okay they said so they are history of poor farm yields so diet mainly consists of the rice and the dal so uh, or pulses so when there is a uh, poor farm yield when we where from where they are taking rice and the pulses it means they are taking some weeds as a pulses that weed is lethyrus lethyrus okay so they are talking about the lethyrism only here they are not given any option related to water so fluorosis will not be the option here only lethyrism will the answer here which vitamin supplement could have prevented these symptoms so which vitamin is given to uh, prevent the symptoms of lethyrism that is vitamin c we have discussed it in the chapter already so answer will be vitamin c here then next question is a poor farmer with a history of repeated crop failure progressive spastic paraparesis upper motor neuron sign get instability the toxin responsible for the condition again the question is same the poor farmer history of repeated crop failure when there is crop failure they usually feed on the weeds is uh, lethyrus so here talking about the toxin of the lethyrus uh, sativus that is boa beta oxalyl amino alanine so answer will be b then a 35 year old homeless man homeless man means the nutrition will be poor okay present with one month history of fever cough and the weight loss so when there is a history of fever weight loss and cough for the one month we suspect tb and if diarrhea is included we suspect for the hiv although his sputum smear are negative okay his chest x ray suggests tb so when chest x ray suggesting tb but sputum is negative either we repeat the sputum or we finally all the algorithm converts towards the cb not so here they are asking that according to the latest ntp guidelines what is the next best management in the step so first you we have to confirm the disease by cb not and then we go treatment dots according to result then next is a study is being conducted to examine the Association between aniline dye exposure and bladder cancer among workers who have been employed in industry for twenty years. On the twenty from twenty years, the workers are being in the industry. Now they want to study the cancer and the dye. The this study involved two group. One group is directly handle the dye. It means that is the exposed group. And while the other group consists of the office clerk who are not exposed means they are having non exposed group they are having two groups they research review or occupational record to determine years of the exposure so now they are diagnosing these patients for the bladder cancer and now they are considering the years of experience years of works or years of exposure from the records so what they want to establish they want to establish the definite exposure when we are having a definite exposure we can talk about the effect when we are having definite exposure we can talk about the outcome so this will be a cohort study this will not be a case control study in case control study we are talking about the patient we are uh, we are try to find out the exposure but here we are going back in the time we are going back in the time and now we are establishing that will be the our patient this will be our subject suppose a person who was appointed 20 years ago so we are considering that 20 year ago this person was a free man having no exposure now we will uh, try to find out that after how many years the person developed the disease so it will be cohort study but we are going back in the time it will be a retrospective cohort study so here in option case control intervention is not the answer prospective cohort and the retrospective cohort so we are going back in the time to establish our cohort it will be a retrospective cohort study this will be our answer now blood pressure measurement were followed from childhood to adulthood okay 
it was found that individuals with the low, low bp in childhood tend to tended to have low bp in the adulthood and while those with the high bp pressure in the childhood had higher bp in the adulthood this phenomena is described as so this is a phenomena with increase the age bp is increasing but if suppose this is bp 100 by 60 and here we have reached to 140 by 90 and in childhood if someone is having 120 80 in later age will go to little bit higher this is the question is saying and if in childhood the bp is 1 130 90 in late life it will go like 180 110 this is the question saying if a child is having low bp in um, childhood well will having low bp in adulthood and in if high bp in the childhood will have high bp in the adulthood what is this this graph is kahin to dekha hai okay is it is tracking of blood pressure tracking of the blood pressure so answer is blood pressure tracking rule of the half is not the answer stepwise approach is not the answer primordial approach cannot be the option a 30 week pregnant woman who is pregnant for the first time okay reports reduced uh, night vision reports report said that she is having reduced night vision means unable to see in the night means vitamin a deficiency okay has been avoiding fruits like papaya and mango because she believes that they could cause abortion definitely avoiding papaya and mango uh, which are the so rich source of the vitamin a she is avoiding them which of the following healthcare worker is primarily responsible for the providing counseling and information to the patient so at this level only two workers who are active one is the anm and the asha so asha is in the direct contact of the patient regularly and anm is little less than asha so first responsibility is of the primarily responsibility of the asha to counsel the patient if she is unable to counsel her then asha, anm came in the picture after that the medical officer came in the picture okay so answer will be asha here next is a 22 year old female presents at the STI clinic with minimal vaginal discharge okay it means this is the vaginal discharge case in the female on a speculum examination cervical erosion are seen it means she is having cervicitis also okay which of the following kits should be provided to the patient I think this is a difficult question because to solve this question you have to know the color coding of the all kits provided by Suraksha Clinic in STI-RTI management. So I have given a trick in my lectures that gray, 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 vaj, black, ring, are you black? This is the trick. Okay. So gray, gray, vaj, black, ring, are you black? Gray, gray kit number one, green, green kit number two, white kit number three, blue kit number four, red kit number five, yellow kit number six, and the black kit number seven okay red kit is for the herpes simplex virus so here but after knowing the number of kit you are not able to solve this answer so for this you have to know that uh, number one kit is used when there is a discharge in the male number two is kit is used when discharge in the female okay so here discharge in the female so green kit two number kit will be our answer directly but we are looking some uh, more in about the STI RTI management. So when there is a both things I have told you. Now if a female is coming or male is coming with the genital ulcer, we will use third number kit. If coming with the scrotal swelling, we will use number four. If HSV is there, we will use red kit. And if PID lower abdomen pain is here, we will use yellow kit and inguinal bubo is are there bubo is black bb so we will use black kit so you just uh, try to uh, remember this thing a uh, little bit uh, with the trick and little bit with the knowledge so it was all about the uh, previous year questions of community medicine from NEET pg 2023 i hope you understood the session thank you